Imagine a world where AI designs your house, picks the materials, makes the planning decisions, and even replaces your job. Is that the science fiction or the looming reality for architects? In this video, we'll explore how AI is shaking the foundations of architecture, the good, the bad, and why some believe we might be staring at the end of architecture as we know it. Standardization and loss of creativity. At first glance, AI-generated designs look exciting. Dramatic curves, wild forms, stunning visuals. But beneath the surface lies a deeper problem. Standardization. AI works by analyzing the existing data. It predicts what is most likely to come next. And that means it tends to reinforce dominant trends, not challenge them. A 2024 study called Empowering Clients found that when AI was used to guide design feedback, the results were consistently moved towards safer, more conventional solutions. Risk-taking decreased, novelty disappeared. Imagine every city in the world slowly converging on the same aesthetic. Shiny glass towers, minimalist boxes, Instagram-friendly facades. Regional identity and cultural nuance completely erased in favor of whatever the algorithm has seen the most. And we've already seen this with AI-generated art. Now it's creeping into our physical environment. And unlike digital painting, you can't simply delete the building once it's built. The illusion of perfection. Here is one of the most dangerous aspects of AI. Its outputs look flawless, even if they are fundamentally wrong. A beautiful rendering can easily hide fatal flaws in layout, structure, or compliance. The danger is that AI-generated information can look good, but be very wrong. Picture this, a developer uses AI to generate a complete planning submission. It sails through the approval process because the visuals are so convincing, but when construction begins, serious errors emerge. Who takes responsibility? The architect who merely checked the plans? The software company? Or the client who commissioned it? Right now, there is no clear answer, and that legal gray area puts public safety at risk. The silent takeover. Architecture as a profession is at a turning point. For centuries, architects have shaped our built environment through a slow, human-driven process of iteration, debate, and discovery. But in just the past two years, AI has gone from being a distant possibility to a central player of how buildings are conceived. Artificial intelligence is now designing buildings, producing the construction drawings, and even generating the entire neighborhoods. And it's doing it faster and cheaper than any team of architects ever could. Some hail this as progress, but others see a dark future. One where architects are replaced, cities become soulless, and creativity itself is flattened. According to RIBA, nearly half of UK practices are already integrating AI into their work. And these tools didn't even exist in accessible forums just a few years ago. This rapid adoption raises a critical question. If AI is designing our cities, what happens to architects and to architecture itself? AI is already involved in almost every stage of architectural process. Concept generation, massing studies, visualizations, construction scheduling, you name it, there is an AI tool for it. Take Zaha Hadid Architects, one of the most known firms in the world. They've admitted to using AI to produce competition proposals at unprecedented speed. By feeding prompts into advanced systems, they can generate dozens of visually striking concepts in minutes, a process that used to take weeks. However, even they acknowledge that AI doesn't understand the realities of construction. These tools create seductive images, but often with impossible structures or unsafe detailing. And yet, these same images are now being used to win projects and shape public perception. And there is the danger. Small practices simply can't compete. When a global firm can instantly generate hundreds of proposals, the market shifts dramatically in their favor. Over time, this concentrates power in the hands of a few mega firms, while pushing out smaller independent voices. The result? A loss of diversity. But not just in the profession, but in the very fabric of our cities. Jobs and the lost generation. For decades, young architects learned by doing. Drafting, rendering, building physical models, these repetitive tasks were essential stepping stones to develop the technical skills and design judgment. But now, AI handles all of that instantly. So the opportunity for young professionals to learn through practice is disappearing. 
One of the respondents to AIA survey said, I don't like the idea of AI-generated design. I'm concerned about the integrity of the practice and the risks it poses to the health, safety and welfare of the public. Also, without the entry-level work, there are no entry-level jobs. And without these jobs, a whole generation of architects may never gain the skills required to take on the leadership roles in the future. It's a hollowing out of the profession. A recent paper, Ethics of Artificial Intelligence and Robotics in the Architecture, Engineering and Construction Industry, warns that this kind of automation could massively reduce opportunities for young professionals while widening inequity across the field. It's not just about efficiency. It's about whether architecture as a career remains viable at all. Consider a mid-sized practice that once employed three junior designers for 3D modeling and rendering. With AI, one senior architect can generate now hundreds of photorealistic images alone. Two or three salaries vanish overnight. Multiply that across thousands of firms worldwide. And now you begin to see the scale of disruption. Clients cutting architects out. For centuries, architects have been the bridge between clients' dreams and the reality of construction. That relationship has always been at the heart of the profession. But today, something is changing. Homeowners and developers now have access to incredibly powerful AI design tools. The kind that used to require years of training and expensive software. With just a few words, anyone can generate dozens of design concepts in minutes. Imagine this scenario. A couple looking to build their first home goes online and uses a free AI tool like OpenAI's. They type in modern two-story house with three bedrooms, open plan living and Scandinavian style. Within seconds, they have 50 beautiful images. Excited by the possibilities, they take these AI-generated designs straight to a local builder. The architect completely left out of the conversation until it's time to stamp the drawings for the planning approval. This isn't just hypothetical. A 2024 RIBA report found that more than 20% of homeowners in the UK had already experimented with AI tools to help visualize their projects before contacting an architect. Some never contacted one at all. For developers, the implications are even more serious. Large companies are starting to create the entire building schemes using AI software. They can bypass traditional design competitions and feasibility studies, cutting architects down to the role of technical checkers instead of creative partners. A recent study showed that when clients drove the process of using AI-generated concepts, architects were often relegated to validation roles, especially checking whether the designs could be built safely and legally rather than shaping the vision themselves. In the US, there are already reports of developers generating 3D site plans for multi-housing projects using tools like Autodesk Forma and SpaceMaker AI. These platforms analyze site conditions, sun paths, and planning constraints automatically. Tasks that once required a team of architects working for weeks. Now a developer with no design background can do it in an afternoon. This shift fundamentally changes the value of an architect. We are no longer the storytellers and problem solvers guiding the project. We risk becoming service providers who simply validate machine-generated designs. And when the architect's voice fades, so does the human element of the architecture itself. And that loss doesn't just affect architects, it affects the communities who must live with the results. Loss of meaning and humanity. Architecture isn't just about solving problems or making things look nice. It's about meaning. It's about how a space makes you feel. The memories it holds, the cultural stories it carries, and the way it connects the people to each other and to their surroundings. Think about walking into an ancient cathedral. You feel the weight of history in the stone, the craftsmanship of countless artists, the light carefully filtered through stained glass. That experience is deeply human. It was shaped by generations of people working together, each bringing their own story and skill. AI doesn't understand that. It can mimic the style, okay, but it has no sense of why it matters. It cannot feel grief or fear or joy. It doesn't know what it means to gather as a community in a market square or seek solitude in a quiet garden. A 2025 paper titled Architectural Practice Process and AI highlights this limitation clearly. The authors note that while AI excels at optimizing data, like traffic flow or energy performance, it struggles to grasp the intangible emotional layers of design. The result is buildings that may function perfectly on paper, but feel sterile and disconnected in real life. We've already seen early warning signs. 
In China, developer used AI to design residential complex entirely through algorithms. The project looked flawless in renders. Clean lines, perfect proportions, optimized layouts. But when residents moved in, the complaints poured in. Public spaces felt cold and impersonal. Wayfinding was confusing and the overall atmosphere was described as alienating. The AI had solved for efficiency, but completely missed the human experience. This is the real danger. Cities could become technically perfect, but spiritually empty. Places where everything works, the plumbing, the lighting, the traffic flow, but nothing inspires. Imagine future generations growing up in environments designed purely by statistical prediction, with no trace of local identity or cultural memory. It's like living inside the computer-generated simulation instead of living and breathing city. Architecture is about human stories, AI doesn't have stories to tell. If we surrender too much to AI, we risk replacing these beautiful, messy imperfections of human creativity with something that's cold and uniform. Architecture becomes less about people, but more about algorithms. And when that happens, we don't just lose a profession, we lose a piece of our collective humanity. Time for a reflection. Now you might be thinking, Adrian, you've recommended AI tools on this channel before. Aren't you a bit of hypocrite? And that's a fair question. The truth is, AI itself isn't inherently bad. It's just a tool, like a pencil, a CAD program, or a BIM software. What matters is how we use it and who controls it. When I share AI tools with you, my goal is to help individual architects and small practices stay competitive in a rapidly changing industry. Because whether we like it or not, the big firms and developers are already using AI. And if we don't adapt, we risk getting left behind completely. But there's a huge difference between using AI to support our work and creativity and blindly handing over the entire design process to the algorithms. In this video, I'm talking about the dangers of the second scenario, where decisions are driven entirely by machines and human voices are pushed out of architecture. So I don't think using AI makes me a hypocrite. It makes me realistic. The key is balance. We can embrace these tools to empower ourselves while still fighting to keep the architecture human, meaningful, and rooted in the real-world values. Conclusion AI won't destroy the architecture overnight, but it's quietly reshaping the profession, and it's not always for the better. From job losses and homogenized cities, to safety risks and erosion of meaning, the stakes are enormous. The real danger isn't that AI will suddenly replace architects, it's that we'll slowly hand over our agency until architecture becomes nothing more than algorithm's output. By the time we notice, it might be too late to turn back. The future of architecture is still unwritten, but it's up to us, as professionals, as clients, as communities, to decide whether we want a world shaped by human creativity or by machines. What do you think? Is AI the greatest threat that architecture has ever faced? Or just another tool? Let me know in the comments below. And if you care about the future of design, subscribe to join this conversation. Because these decisions are being made right now and their impact will last for generations.